Hey guys, it's Amy. So this is the second part of my Hawaii vlog and for today I wanted to take you to shopping at Chanel in Waikiki. I will be putting together my entire Hawaii vlog in a separate video. Anyway, on this day after I got ready, we had some breakfast or breakfast lunch at Island Vintage Coffee and then we headed out to Ala Moana. Thank you all to those who recommended their essays to me. I appreciate you so much. When I was there, the 24P collection had launched for a couple weeks already. This is the nano size, which was the SLG size. It was so cute, but I really wanted the size up from this. So I asked the essay to keep an eye out for me. And this is today's outfit of the day. Very comfy sandals, cheap sandals. I'm wearing my Chanel top, my favorite Chanel top, Chanel belt, and just comfy sandals and mini Kelly. Next, I went to a fitting room and the lovely essay had selected a few of the new pieces that had just arrived that she thought was in my size. As you can see, there are a couple of denim pieces which are really, really hard to come by at Chanel and also some jackets. Hey. popular skirt they just received it today and this is my bag this one right here the tweed jacket in pink was my favorite it was so gorgeous i love the simplicity i love the buttons i love the gorgeous pink shade that was quite neutral actually and i think it would be a very versatile piece to throw on alone or also to throw on as a jacket even in the winter time you could wear a little mock neck underneath if it was in white or cream color i think i would have already bought it but pink is still a little bit tricky for me although i still think that the color was very very neutral look at the details really nice jacket so lovely it's a very And next I tried on this kind of oversized cardigan and I liked it enough, not loved it. It was a little bit on the oversized, kind of puffy. And so I think it would work really well in the winter time, but I'm not really into really big long cardigans. I usually prefer a fitted jacket or some sort of thinner layers so that I don't feel suffocated underneath my bigger coats. But I think if I lived in California and this would be my actual jacket, it would work out really, really well. But it is nice. I do think that it's a nice cardigan. And then I tried on the skirt, the denim skirt. It was so cute. I think I love the pockets and it was very simple. The only caveat, and I think it's just the sizing, um, it was a little bit on the tighter side for me. These were all in size 34, by the way. Even though it's still kind of fit, I would still prefer the size 36. I just like it when things are a little bit looser so that I can eat and that the fabric would drape a little bit nicer. Buttons are cute. Pockets, pretty cute. Oh my goodness, this, my goodness, guys, these are cute. <sighs> too bad my legs are too swollen. I don't like to show my legs. Oh, these are cute. Size 34. Denim skirt. Oh my goodness, so cute goes well with this jacket and same goes with the jeans my first impression is that oh my gosh so cute very vintage looking obviously they are cropped but i'm so short that <laughs> it didn't look super cropped on me the pockets were really really cool again i just find that the size was just a tad little tight i just think that it would drape a lot nicer if it was a size up nice because it's more spring summer. And pockets are cool with the 
a vintage CC. And it has kind of like that wide leg crop look. So that concluded my Chanel visit at Ala Moana, but I also visited the other Chanel boutique in Waikiki on the main strip and I tried on a few pieces as well. Unfortunately, they also didn't have the items that I really, really wanted, but I still got a chance to try on some of the new pieces from the collection. So as you can see here, this little cute tank top. I was really, really attracted to it. I think it's one of those tops that are super simple and easy to just get a lot of wear out of it. I need to wear the right underwear. This is not the right underwear. Next, I tried on this super cute vest made of cashmere. This was the piece that I was the most interested when I reviewed the collection from their website. The only thing that I didn't love was that I found this cashmere material to be a little bit itchy. It wasn't terrible, but it was definitely noticeable. Cute though. Well, maybe it's not really a little bit. I just have the wrong underwear. There is this cute little pink tank top that the SA thought I should try on because the color was really, really gorgeous. I have to agree with her. This was actually in size 38, if I remember correctly. So it was a little bit loosey-goosey. I also noticed that the little CC in front was sort of like glued on, heat glued on. So I wasn't super impressed with the quality. This dress, which looks very similar to the first top that I tried on, but in a dress version, was really cute. It was slightly small on me. This was a size 34. I found it a little bit tight around the, the hips area and also a little short on me. If I lived in a tropical area, I would get a ton of wear out of this. Last but not least, this piece de resistance is the gorgeous, gorgeous wool or cashmere sweater that was hand embroidered. The SA found it last minute and wanted me to try it on. I liked it enough, but it was so expensive. I remember the price was so extortionate, something like 9,800 US dollars. I think if it was less expensive, I would have been really, really tempted to get it. So as you can see, I picked up this top and I did a whole unboxing video and I filmed it at the hotel room. I even got a little sample of these skincare, which I love these little samples for traveling. But unfortunately, when I tried it on with the shorts and just the other bottoms that I had at the hotel with me, it didn't really work out. I found it to be a little bit too cropped for my liking and also the CC logo. I just noticed it at the hotel. It was a little crooked, so that really bugged me. So anyway, I had to return it in store. It was the last one. And if it was meant to be, I can always find it back in Canada. Overall, my shopping experience in Hawaii is so much more rewarding and so much more fun than locally in Vancouver. Let me know which pieces were your favorite. Let me know if you picked up anything from this collection. Stay tuned for my actual Hawaii vlog and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!